Hi Aries, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your Law of Attraction, Love and Money Tarot and Oracle card readings for May 2024. These readings will be for all Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. There is a Law of Attraction message in the description box if you're interested in that. We're going to start off here with a message from Edgar Casey from the Inspirational Quotes deck. Thy brain is not thy mind. It is that which is used by thy mind. What is, then, is thy mind? The gift of God, that is the companion with thy soul. That is a part of the same, okay? You take that in for size. Try that one on. So we're going to start off here first with a money reading for you, and then we'll have another oracle card, and then we'll do the love reading. All right, what advice? Do you have for Aries, please, to attract financial abundance and prosperity? What does Aries need to know about money? Okay, four card reading here. And then we'll have another oracle card. I think I mentioned that already. All right, you have the Six of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Knight of Swords, you might be in a hurry to get things done. My God, talk about brace for change and a big turn of events. You have it multiple times here. Now, you have here Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, and Scorpio. You've got air and fire too. But the Six of Swords, if you're moving or you're traveling, and the little companion uh, leaflet or you know pa pamphlet, let's call it that, that goes with the deck. This is a card when, when it describes, it says, aren't you lucky? But I feel like in modern day tarot, most people don't look at this and think it's a card of fortune. However, you do have the wheel of fortune here, which is. So this is in the past and it does show you as moving on and perhaps in a way of just kind of putting one foot in front of the other. If there was something, especially if it is something to do with travel and it started to get bogged down with changes and delays and this is being not available and that's not, you know, it's like this is not even fun anymore. I'll just get it over with. Now, if there's something else in terms of a job too, where you're just kind of punching in and punching out, you know, the sort of like just keeping up with the grind, but feeling like it's time to move on and do something more. I do see that as happening here, and I do feel like you are the person for the job. Now, I'd also say, too, though, with moving, if there were some hurdles, I see you as getting something taken care of if there's been, like I said, something that just thinks these little pesky roadblocks is how I see them. So the Wheel of Fortune, when this comes into play, get ready for the action to begin. It's always the Wheel of Fortune, never the Wheel of Misfortune. This is events aligning. And this is also, too, about the universe conspiring to move you towards your happiness. Unless you resist it, unless you do something. So I feel like they're saying, go with the flow. See things as unfolding. Now, in a job, I feel like it's going to be very quick turnaround. Like, they're going to want you to start right away. In fact... You may find that wrapping up your affairs with an old job, you're just ready to get on with it and kind of like hurry up and let's get this over with. That's the energy I get. Like whatever you're moving on to, you have such a zealousness to begin the new situation, the new job, or even a move. It's like you can't wait to get there. And so I feel like with this energy, there's joy here, by the way. It's happy. It's upbeat. It's high vibrational stuff. This is also, the, the wheel is also a portal into the divine. So meditate, do spiritual things, get on that spiritual beam. Because, and you know, again, they talk about how the mind, right? What is that? It's a gift to use. Use with your soul, use to guide you on the path. So this Knight of Swords is, like I said, is ready to get going. It is the see, the search for meaning and truth. He's on a quest. But this energy is like, here, get out of the way. I'll do it myself. So be a little careful with this. Because when you start to take over the reins, sometimes you can get burned out in this energy where it's like, God, I could use some help. And they're like, no, we are not willing to. You're like wanting to do it all yourself. And so I do feel like, though, it's still a message of taking control of something and moving something forward. It's all going to be very swift, especially with the Eight of Wands. This Eight of Wands is like the perfect alignment. This is in the advice. It allows your life to expand and grow. So I do feel like you have communication that's going to be quite exciting about a job change or if it is travel or move too. I get it all those ways. 
But with this, it is it is an energy of excitement. The thrill is in your life here, Aries. So let's hear now from the <clears throat> Fortune Oracle, then we'll move on to love. You've got the thorns. Weathering challenges will bring in a new and positive future. So if there's something that's in your way, like I said, some kind of roadblock seems to keep popping in and popping up. I feel like you're going to navigate that. But I also, like I said, I feel like you might not have as much patience and just wanting to get it done, wanting to move forward very quickly. So let's see now. What does Aries need to know about love, please? What advice do you have for Aries to attract the love of their lives into their lives, please? All right, same setup with the four cards and then an oracle card. You have the Knight of Pentacles, slow and steady wins the race, the Five of Swords, and we've got interesting, the Queen of Swords, but that Eight of Pentacles is in the advice. So with this Knight of Pentacles, it may have been something here in terms of seeing something for the long haul, okay? Being in a relationship that may have been going along quite methodically, really feeling like you were in it, you're here for this. But I also want to say with this, you have some kind of a falling out there with that Five of Swords. So if you're wondering, can I reconcile with this person? I still feel like they're saying slow and steady wins the race, not trying to rush back into something if you are here for reconciliation. But there's an energy to that. Queen of Swords is the widow of the tarot. She's in the outcome. And so what's important about her is she keeps a sense of humor about herself. However, she also learns from past mistakes. So if there was something here that seemed like it was never going to end and it has ended, it's about learning from that and growing from that and moving forward. And I heard complete transparency. So really being able to put it all on the line. If you have in the past had relationships where perhaps maybe you didn't even know what you wanted. So you got into something and then you started to become clear about what you wanted, but you were so far into it, you were afraid to tell them because you thought it would end. I get that big time with this five of swords, like, you know, not, not being completely true to ourselves, but part of the problem was not knowing who we were to be true to. It's like, well, who am I even being true to when I don't know myself? That gets complicated, doesn't it? So I do feel like with this, you had some kind of a falling out, or if you're still in the relationship, that doesn't mean it's ending, but there's definitely a conflict here. And so with this Five of Swords, it can be too much thinking as well. So be careful with that. If you are mad at a significant other, a lo you know, a lover, of course, but uh, um, I do feel like with this, it's like, don't, don't just hang out in that energy if you're annoyed with them, because you're just going to get more and more annoyed. And that doesn't bring it back around. That's the present. So with this Queen of Swords energy, she is a witty and comical character. So part of that, she's very can be very sarcastic. And so part of it is I feel like taking things with a grain of salt, but also a sense of humor. But if it's new love that you're in search of, I feel like they're trying to tell you, be very clear about what you want and don't allow yourself to settle. She looks forward. And so in her energy, it also may be an indication that you're attracting someone who's very successful and it has not been in relationships recently. I feel like it's somebody also who has been single for a while and won't settle. And they also may be something to do like with the law, like a lawyer or something like that, or someone who's in a supervisory position. But again, that sarcastic sense of humor, it is witty and dry. It's not mean spirited, but I do feel like there's something about that that's important here. So with this eight of pentacles, I do feel like your focus, your drive, it's about being clear about the commitment that you want, the type of person that you want. I do feel like with the eights, especially this one, you have the eight of wands in the other reading, but this is about really manifesting and also being in that place of looking for a, either a recommitment with somebody, and this time it's for keeps, um, and being clear about that, or a new person and, and not, you know, not, playing fast and loose with the truth. If you're looking for a commitment, being upfront about that, because I feel like that's going to serve you better than, you know, trying to see if it will come along the way. All right. So this is from the whispers of love. You've got true love. This love is once in a lifetime. So I do feel like you're attracting someone who will be a match for you. Or if it's a current match, it's time to be, again, have that communication clear and be looking into the future. Because in both the outcome and the advice, it's about looking into the future and finding a match and making that commitment. So 
Good things are on the way for you, Aries. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.